Hi guys, so welcome back sa ating YouTube channel. So ito na yung pang-apat na lesson para sa ating chapter 3. So this is the change of variable in multiple integrals. Okay, so before that, magkaroon muna tayo ng counting innovation or something. Counting analysis or counting, counting observation. Kung ano ba yung gagawin natin actually dito. So we start with this. So we have the integral from 1 to 2 of x squared. So, nagkamali ako ng type. That is x cube rather. So, this is x cube. Again, this is x cube squared ng x squared minus 1 dx. Okay. So, we start with this, no? So, note na ang gagawin. Siyempre, ang pinaka-possible dito is siyempre is your usab. Okay. So, kung isipin mo siya, parang imposible yung usab. Kasi sa usab, dapat kung sino yung higher, yun magiging u. So, u latin is x cube dapat. Tapos, x cube. Kaso, nasa loob ng square root. Okay, so dito pa actually possible pa rin dito yung usap. Tapos actually, since nasa uh, definite integral tayo, u substitution means changing of upper and lower boundary also. Again, it is also the change of upper and lower boundary. So when you change the variable, you change the upper boundary or you change the, up, the upper limit and the lower limit of integral or integration. Okay, so again, possible dito yung usap. Nagyan ko ng konting twist. So, let us consider. So, let us. So, let u be equal to x squared minus 1. Okay? So, now, since the first meaning ng ating change of variable is, alam natin, since naka-dx to, since yung 1 na yan, top to 2, ang gapang yan is from x is equal to 1, and where n per x is equal to 2. Now, since magpapalit tayo ng variable u para dito, so, meaning, papalitan natin siya ng konting idea. So, lay ko lang dito ah. Okay, so if the boundary is 1 and 2, ito yung u. Okay, so, pata mo yung x ng 1, so that is simply 1 squared minus 1, this is simply 0. Next, this is 2 squared minus 1, this is equal to 3. So, meaning, yung bagong boundary na natin is from 1 to 2, ang boundary na is from 0 to 3. Okay, so, yun yung unang meaning. So, next is, syempre, from here, uh, syempre, ang goal natin is ma-represent natin x squared. So, this is just simply u plus 1 is equal to x squared. So, isymmetric ko lang. So, this is just x squared this is, is equal to u plus 1 or simply x is equal to O, oh, sambi. Okay na yan. No? So, x squared is equal to u plus 1. So, yan na. x squared is equal to u plus 1. So, check ko na lang din na. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. So, tama na yan. x squared is equal to u plus 1. Note that this from here, yung du pala rather, so du is just equal sa 2x dx. So, saan saan nakuha yan mula dito? Again. Kunin ko yung differential both sides. So, this is the, the differential ng u is du. Differential ng x squared is 2x dx. Differential ng negative 1 is 0 dx. So, ayan siya. So, meaning meron 2x dx na nakalagay doon. So, again, complete natin siya using u sub. So, by u substitution. Okay. So, by u sub, we have the integral from 1 to 2 ng x cubed square root ng x squared minus 1 dx so I think siguro nagkita mo na sir parang imposible pa yung gagawin mo actually pwede pa, imposible pa so actually kailangan din na integrating factor or ng balancing factor na 1 half makay kasi meron dyan 2 so lagay tayo ng 1 half dito so this is just 1 half then integral from 1 to 2 tapos paghihiwalayin ko no so, since may x squared ako doon nakita mo na x squared is equal to u plus 1 so paghihiwalayin ko siya. so hiwalay ko yung x squared Tapos ito yung square root ng x squared minus 1. Tapos, didikit ko lang dito yung 2x dx. Okay? So, kung napapansin mo, kaya ko nang palitan isa-isa yan. Sir, paano? Yung x squared, kaya kong palitan. Sorry, na ano, kodigay ako sa hinasop things. So, yung x squared is palitan ko na u plus 1. Yung square root na x squared minus 1, pabalit ako na square root u kasi x squared minus 1 is u. Then, yung 2x dx sa si du. So, again, by change of variable, so, gagawin kong red, no? So, this is just 1 half. This is change of variable from 1, this is magiging 0. From 2, magiging 3. Okay, yung x squared ay mapapalitan ng u plus 1. Tandaan yun. 
Okay, yung square root ng x squared minus 1 is papalitan lang natin ng square root of u. Then yung 2x dx papalitan natin ng du. Okay, then arrange lang natin konti, multiply natin sila dyan. So this is just equal sa 1 half integral from 0 to 3. That is u raised to 1 half. No, u raised to 1 half times u, that is u raised to u raised to 3 over 2. Okay, then plus u raised to 1 half. Kasi 1 times square root of u is square root of u pa rin. And this is just du. So du rather. Okay, next is applying the power rule. Okay, then simply, syempre dahil bago na yung boundary, hindi natin kailangan ibalik sa dito ah. So, sa x ah. So, syempre bago na yung boundary. Okay, so, ano ba ito? Uh, applying na natin yung integral yung by power rule. This is just simply equal sa 1 half, then multiplied by uh, 3 halves plus 1, that is 5 over 2. Tama? 5 over 2, so this is just 2 over 5. So, this is just 2 over 5 raised sa 5 over 2 plus 1 half plus 1 is just 3 over 2. So, that is 2 third plus 2 third plus u raised sa 3 over 2. Then, the boundary is from 0 to 3. Okay. So, this is just equal sa 1 half. Then, multiplied by since 2 yun. So, this is just 2 over 5. Then, this is just 3 raised sa 5 over 2 plus 2 over 3. Then, this is just 3 raised sa 3 over 2. Then, minus 0. Okay. So, this is just equal sa... Pag sinod natin, that is simply equivalent lang sa 4 over 5 is square root of 3. Okay. So, ngayon check natin using yung calculator. So, yan ba yung magiging sagot? So, check natin. No? So, gamit ang mahiwagang calculator. So, this is 1 over 2. Okay. So, that is x cubed, no? Alpha x raised to 3. Okay, then this simply square root ng alpha x raised to 2 minus 1. Okay, so we'll check that. Eh, no? So, oh, yun, maghihintay pa yata tayo ng after 10 years. So, habang inihintay natin yung sagot niya, no? Yung matagal talaga yan, actually, pag medyo mahirap. Ayun, 4.84. 9.5. So, meron ba siyang equivalent? So, wala naman. So, 4.85. So, check natin si 14 over 5. Si 14 over 5, tas is square root of 3. So, it's so by 4.89. So, piloso po talaga to. yon 4.85. So, tama naman yung ating sagot. Ayan. So, ano ba innovation na sa about doon? So, ay yung usab. Ay yung alam natin. So, 8 minutes na. Agad yan. Agad yung na ano ko. No? So, sorry. So, ang goal ko talaga is something na Nung naglat tayo ng U, nagkakaroon tayo ng mapping or nagpakaroon tayo ng change of plane. So, kumbaga, pinata ko ng U, napupunta sa U plane. From X plane, napupunta siya sa U plane. So, ano ibig sabihin ni Sir from doon? Okay, so now, ang nangyari is something na yung interval na 1 to 2 is napunta kay interval na 0 to 3. Okay, ayun yung una kong ano. Okay, so next is something na uh, ano gagawin natin? So, if we let x, so kung napansin mo no, kung naglet tayo ng u is equal to x squared plus 1, so ito no. So, from here, so nilet natin na si u is equal to x squared minus 1. So, we only get x squared is equal to u plus 1. Okay, or simply, x is equal to square root of u plus 1. Okay, so ngayon, kung napapansin mo, this is a function of G, punch function of u. Again, kasi variable yun eh. So, this is the function of u. So, what if i represent natin siya as x is equal to g of u, which is equal sa square root ng u plus 1. So, ayun yung nangyari. Okay, so again, yung ginagawa natin something similar lang dito. Ito ay something intuitive. So, ini-explain ko lang siya further. So, by further analysis. So, magkakaroon tayo. So, ayun, nagkaroon tayo ng g of u. Okay, so note na yung buong function natin is something na ito talaga. Yung buong f of x. Okay, so ito yung buong f of x natin, as in lahat. So, yung f of x natin is yung nasa loob, which is x cubed square root ng x squared minus 1. So, pag nilagay ko yung g dyan, so this is f of g of u. 
Ano mangyayari? So, this is just simply square root ng, so, this is just square root ng u plus 1 raised to 3. Then, ito ay just square root of. So, yung x squared minus 1, this is just square root of u. Okay? Or simply, this is just simply u plus 1 raised to 3 over 2. Then, this is just square root of u. So, ayun yung nangyari. So, ito yung f of g of u. So, nasan na siya? So, itong part na to is something na, ito na yan. Okay, although nawala andyan pa rin 3 over 2. So, wala pa kasi yung anti, so, anti-derivative na ina-apply. So, next is, observe natin. So, again, pinapakita ko lang kung paano yung nangyayari talaga, technically or mathematically, dun sa loob ng ating branch ng function. Okay, so, next is something na, what if kinuha natin yung derivative ng x? So, ito yung x, no? So, we have x, so, red ko na lang, no? So, we all know that x is equal to g of u, which is equal sa square root ng u plus 1. Okay, so, kinuha ko yung derivative ng x with respect sa u. This is just equal sa g prime of u. Tama. Okay, the next is something na, anong integral o ano yung derivative ng square root ng u plus 1. So, note ng integral, ang derivative nyan is simply equal lang sa 1 half then u plus 1. So, gumamit ako ng power rule sa derivative ng raised to negative 1 half du. Okay. So, similar lang naman yan. Over square root ng so, parang something na 1 over 2 square root u plus 1. So, similar lang yan. Ginawa ko lang siya in terms of uh, exponential or fractional function. So, again, ayan yung ating g prime of u. So, this is may du. So, again, lalagay ko lang siya, i-attach ko lang siya dito. No? So, ngayon, meron tayong mga nakuha pala bakit by the way, no? So, may nakuha tayong boundary from 1 to 2 to 0 to 3. Okay, so aware tayo na yung g of 0. So, also, ayun, mali na ako spelling. Also, we all know that g of 0 is equal to 1. So, bakit sir? Bakit? Hindi din mabuti. Bakit g of 0 is equal to 1? Pag pinalitan ko, so kasi ito yung g, no? Ito yung g. So, g of 0, so that is, g of 0, that's 0 plus 1, that is simply 1. So, yung x is 1. So, tama naman. Pag 0 si g, pag 0 si yung sa g, 1 siya doon, sa kabila. Okay, pag 3 naman, pag g of 3, so note that g of 3 is just equal naman sa 2. Bakit, sir? Pag pinalit ko yung 3 dito, sa so square root of 3 plus 1, that is square root of 4, that is 2. So, simply balik doon. So, again, meron siyang mapping kinoconsider dito. So, mapping from 0 to 3 is mapping from 3. So, ganun naman yung nangyayari intuitively pagdating dito. Which implies na by definition of function, kung naalala nyo, no? so, since siya ay function which is differentiable, actually integrable siya kasi na-integrate natin, may value siya. So, note na pag integrable ka, automatic continuous ka. Continuous ka. So, meaning, nag-exist din yung inverse mo. So, pag ginapal natin yung inverse dito, this is just equal sa, pagpapalitin ko lang ha, so, magiging 0 is equal to g inverse of 1 then this implies naman sa 2 is equal sa g inverse, ah sorry, this is g3 pala no, 3, g inverse of 2. Okay, so yan yung mga nangyayari dyan. Okay, so now, kunin na natin yung pinakahuli, which is wala naman tayong gagawin actually sa dulo. Kung maga ini-explain ko lang yung uh, skeletal yung ginagawa natin na. So this is just integral from 1 to 2 nung f of x dx. So note that f of x natin is given na dun no. So, f of, x, f of x natin is x cubed square root of x, square root x squared plus 1. So, ito ay equivalent sa integral from 1 to 2 ng x cubed square root ng x squared minus 1 dx. Okay? So, which is, pag pinatang ko lahat yan, so kung naalala mo, napalitan natin siya, no? Palitan natin yung boundary sa taas. This is just integral from 0 to 3. Okay? Note that this is just 1 half. So, ano ba yung nasabla natin kanina? So, yung du is something na square root of u. O, check ko lang ha, yung value. G inverse. So, ano papalit ko sa x cube? Nakalimutan ko. x cube is u plus 1. Saan yung x cube, brother? Ito, eh. Ayun, ayun, ayun. Square root na u plus 1. u plus 1 raised sa 3 over 2. So, ayun siya, no? u plus 1 raised sa 3 over 2 u plus 1 raised to 3 over 2 
Tapos, square root of u multiplied by, ano yung dx over du? That is 1 half. Okay, so ano pa si mo? May 1 half u plus 1, negative 1 half du. Ayan yung dx natin. Okay, so again, that yan yung dx natin. So, this is just equal sa 1 half, then u plus 1, raise sa negative 1 half du. Okay, so now, ayan yung susolve natin. Kung baga, pag nagawa na natin lahat yan, isasolve natin, papalit lang natin, tasasolve na natin yung value ng integral or something. Okay, so now, ano ba yung pinapoint out ko? Ang ibig sabihin ko lang, yung integral from 1 to 2 nung f of x dx natin can be iterated as g inverse ng g inverse of 1, g inverse of 2. So, paano yun? Kasi, yung 0 natin is g inverse of 1, yung 3 natin is g inverse of 2. Okay, in which, ano naman tong nasa loob na to? Ito yung f of, ito yung f of g of u. Then lastly, ito naman yung g prime of u du. So, ito yung ginagawa natin, literal, pag nag-change of variable tayo. Marami tayong kinoconsider. Nag-change ng limit, nag-change ng function, nagkakaroon tayo ng inverse function, may application na inverse function, may composition sa loob, may differential pa. Okay, so yun yung totality nung ginagawa natin. Now, proceed na tayo dun sa topic natin for today. So, introduce ko na yung ating chains of variables. So, again, this is just the way para ma-introduce sa'yo ano ba yung gagawin natin. Ano ba yung ginagawa talaga ng chains of variable na yan? Ooh, in it. Now, this is theorem 3.4.1. So, theorem 3.4.1, no? So, the chains of variables formula for multiple integral. So, yung ginawa natin kanina is actually chains of variable in single integral. So, meaning, uh, in single variable lang siya at the same time, madali siyang gawin. You use of something na gamitin natin yung formula. Ganun. Idea lang is something na may function, may inverse, kinukuha ko yung inverse, kinukuha ko yung differential, tapos kinukuha ko lang yung mga uh, composition o functions dun sa loob. Okay, so now what if multiple integral siya actually. So now, start tayo dito no. So let x is equal to x of u, b. So meaning yung x is nag-change or nag-parameterize sa u, b. And y is equal to y of u, b. So define a one-to-one -one mapping of a region R squared in u, b plane. So yun nga no, from x, y plane, papunta siya sa u, b plane. So yun yung pinapoint out nyo dan no. So kunyari ko ito x, y plane natin. So, meaning ng change of variable, this is just changing yung plane. So, this is just u, b. So, sir, ano yung u, b plane? u, b plane is just a plane, plane co rectangular plane coordinate system. Anong nangyari lang is something na different dimension. So, parang usapang ganito, so, earth, something na, okay, lipat kita sa Mars. So, something na, oh, livable ba dito or something. Ganun lang siya. Okay, so, oh, lipat kita dito, pero iba itsura mo pagdating doon. So, iba yung nagiging Uh, gawin mo. Okay. Iba rin yung mga properties mo. Okay. Pero, syempre, dahil tayo ay something na mapping, so, one-to-one -one mapping, so, syempre, pwede akong bumalik sa'yo. Yun na ibig sabihin niya. Okay. So, on to region R in the XY plane, such that the determinant, so, we all know na ito yung determinant, so, kung nauna ka na nanonood sa proba, probably, familiar ka na dito, no? So, the J of, the J of U, B, so, this is the Hacobian, so, the Hacobian matrix. So, this is just simply equivalent or equal sa partial derivative of x with respect sa u, then partial derivative of y with respect sa u, partial derivative of x with respect sa b, partial derivative of y with respect sa b. Okay, so, ayun yung goal natin. Ang gagawin natin yung something na i-represent natin si u and b in terms of x and y. Again, i-represent natin si u and b in terms of x and y. Then, kunin natin yung partial derivative niya ng with respect, partial derivative ng x with respect sa u, then partial derivative ng y with respect sa u. Okay, and also doon sa kabila. Pag, two-dimensional lang tayo, two by two determinant. So again, this is never zero in R prime. So since nagbago tayo, so kung ito yung region R, pagdating niya dito, this is just region R prime. So kumbaga, nagbago na ako ng region. Yung yung binabanggit ko na nagbago. Nagbago ka na yung UV plane, no, nagbago ka rin ng region. Kasi iba na yung itsura mo ng region doon. So this is just something na parang, Ah, uh, alam mo ta in term pero mamaya pag naalala ko sasabihin ko. Okay, so now, anong gagawin afterward? So after ko kunin yung Hacobian matrix o yung Hacobian determinant, 
uh, kukunin ko yung integral over the double, over the region R nung f of x comma y dA of x comma y so meaning yung dA of x comma y lang something na ito pa rin yung dx dy ah. okay so ano na mangyari this is just equivalent sa double integral along the region R prime of f of x of u comma b time comma y of u of y of u comma b times the absolute value of the determinant of u, Jacobian of u comma b then the derivative of a u comma b so meaning yung differential dito is in terms of x and y differential dito is term in terms of u and b okay yun lang yung sinasabi kumbaga since nagbago ka na ng region doon ka na sa differential namin mag determine pero syempre dahil nagbago ka nagkaroon tayo ng konting change of variable dito yung number one application talaga ni Jacobian so magbago ka ng variable apply mo ko kasi nga change of variable tayo Okay, so, ayan yung gagawin natin technically. Now, we use the notation d of, d a of x, y and da u, b to denote the area of element. So, the area element in the x, y and the area element in u, b coordinates respectively. So, ayan yung infinitesimal pa rin. So, same pa rin naman siya. Okay? So, similarly, if we have x is equal to x is equal to x of u comma b comma w and y is equal to y of u comma b comma w and z is equal to u of comma b comma w define the one to one mapping of a solid s prime in a u b w space onto a solid s in x y space such that the determinant is something na ganito so syempre alam mo na gagawin pag 3 by 3 tayo ay magbe basket method so now ano na may itsura ng ating so solid s no so para dito kung meron tayong kung naalala mo sa ating Euclidean space. So, parehas lang naman sa Euclidean space. So, aware naman kayo doon. This is just this. So, paglipat nga sa kabila, this is just same pa rin naman na itsura. Pinagkaiba lang, this is just U, B, W plane. So, this is U, B, and this is W plane. So, kung this is solid S or region, this is solid S prime. Okay. So, yun yung pinagkaiba nila. Okay then, sim sim similarly, so sim same formula, then same approach. So, since dito ay 2 double integral, and this is triple integral. So, again, it's never 0 in S prime. Then, yung triple integral along the solid S of f of x comma y comma z over the infinitesimal or area element of x comma y comma z is equal to the triple integral of the region over the solid S prime of f of x u comma b comma w comma y of u comma b comma w comma z of u comma b w. So, times the j of u comma b comma w. So, so, this is the determinant, absolute value determinant. Then, the area element of dbu comma b comma w. Okay? So, ayan naman yung magiging integral. So, which means this is just du, db, dw or something na depende sa uh, specification. So, depende sa region. So, kung ano yung unahin mo. Again, that is du, db, dw or simply dw, db, du. Yung magiging huli. Okay, so, simple, simple, another thing is, simple, magiging limited lang din yung magiging example natin dito. So, i-extend ko lang yung point na hanggang dito siya. So, tatry ko magbigay na example sa 3D or sa 3-line. Kasi may iba pa siyang way. So, aside from change of variable, change change of variable in multiple integrals. Kasi, pwede rin tayo mag-change. Kung naaalala mo, yung coordinate na x comma y, kaya, kaya natin gawin spherical, kaya natin gawin cylindrical. So, meaning, may change of variable, change of variable din yun actually. So, since, kung siya ay x comma y, Gagawin ko siyang cylindrical, iba siya doon. Gagawin ko siyang spherical, iba siya doon. Okay, gagawin ko siyang polar coordinate, iba rin yun. So, change of variable pa rin yun. Now, consider as change of variable. So, kaya kailangan ko din i-limit yung gagawin. So, this is just the natural way ng gagawin nyo pag u comma b comma w. So, now, let's have an example. So, again, this is the Hacobian matrix. Okay, so, Hacobian of x, Hacobian of x comma y comma b. Okay, so let's start with this, no? Example, evaluate the integral over the region R. So, since double integral lang tayo, ililimit ko lang yung ating gagawin. Okay, so evaluate the evaluate the integral over the region, or the double integral over the region R of E raised to x minus y over x plus y dA. So, hindi binigay ko ano yung specific dA. So, where in dA, uh, where R is simply x comma y, x greater than or equal to 0, and y is greater than or equal to 0, then x plus y is less than or equal to 1. Okay, so yan yung mga limitation na gagawin natin. So, since ito yung ating region, the drawing natin yan. So, for the region R, so ito yung magiging figure, no? So, the region R. So, ito yung specification ng region R natin. Check natin. So, for the region R, so, huping magkasya lahat ng solution natin dito. 
So, pag hindi, lipat na lang tayo. Lipat ko na lang or baliktad ko na. So, this is y. This is x. Okay? So, ang ibig sabihin niya is something na yung x is greater than or equal to 0. So, meaning hanggang dito. Okay? Yung y is greater than or equal to 0. So, meaning papunta doon. So, hindi sila abot sa dito sa left side, dito sa downward this side. So, dito lang sila usually lahat. Okay? Then, last is x plus y less than or equal to 1. Okay, so meaning, yung equation na yan, something na, pag kinaw mo equation or ganap mo equation na yan, magiging graph lang niya is simply ganito lang. Okay, so this is just 1, so assuming 1 yan, so this is just x plus y is equal to 1. So, pag less than 1, syempre, alam niyo naman na yun eh. So, pasok na dyan yung pagiging equal. So, this is the region R. Okay, so siya ay, uh, I saw sa this right triangle, kasi nga, right angle to eh. So, yan yung magiging graph niya over the region R. So, ngayon, ang problema natin is pag pinatay natin siya or nilagay natin siya sa UB plane. So, before that, syempre, magkakaroon mo tayo ng change of variable. So, ngayon, if we let tayo dito, so, ito, a distinction lang nga, sir, paano ako maglalet ng U and XY? So, dito, obvious eh. Pwede naman kasi ako maglalet dito. Since nakita ko X minus Y na yung magkasama, pwede ko na siya ilet as U. Kasi yung X, kasi yung X plus Y, ilet ko na lang na B. Again, pag nakita mo na ganun magkakasama na sila, ilet mo na siya as U ilet mo na as B, ilet mo na as W kung 3-dimensional siya. Kasi magkakasama. Hindi yung tipong ilet mo pa ito ng U, ilet mo pa ito ng B, tapos saka mo pa yung sold, which is magpapahirap sa inyo. Kasi kunyari, nilet ko ito na U, nilet ko ito na Y, U minus B yun. Ito ay U plus B. So, hindi pa rin. Hindi pa rin sila totally magkahiwalay. Eh, ang goal nga natin ay something na mapaghiwalay natin sila literal. So, ilet natin muna na U. So, by substitution, we let that U is equal to X minus y and b is equal to x plus y. Okay, so now, nagkaroon tayo ng change of formula or change of variable formula. So, meron tayo. Yung u natin is na-represent na natin of x minus y, b is equal to x plus y. So, kung mapapansin mo, ano nangyari? Yung f of x comma y natin is equal sa e raised sa x minus y over x plus y. Ngayon, this changes from f of x of u comma b comma y of u comma b. Okay, this is just equivalent lang sa e raised sa u over b. Okay, so yun yung naging transformation. So, at least may madali na tayo. Okay, okay so now, anong gagawin natin dito? No? So, syempre, i-represent natin siya in terms of x and y pa rin para dito. Kasi nga, kailangan natin ma-represent siya sa different dimension. Okay, so ano ba gagawin natin dito? So, gawin natin represent natin si x in terms of u and b, represent natin si y in terms of u and b. So, mula dito pag nagmanipulit tayo, no, sinyari inad natin sila. So, pag inad natin, ano mangyari? So, this is just u plus b is equal to 2x. Or simply, what is x? x is just equal sa 1 half ng u plus b. So, ayan yung una. Okay, now, paano pag dinedock? Pag sinubtract naman natin, this is just u minus b is equal to so, pag sinubtract, no, negative 2y I think. So, divide natin both side by 2. So, this is just y is equal to 1 half times, mauna na yung b minus u. So, kasi minultiply ko na yung negative sa loob. Okay, so, from u, u minus b divided by negative 2. So, labas ko na yung 1 half that is b minus u. So, ayan yung x and y natin in terms Okay, so ngayon, ano ba yung magiging change of variable niya in terms dito? So, since ito yung region R, ano yung magiging itsura naman niya pagating dun sa ating region R prime? Okay, so paano ba natin mag-change yung R prime natin dito? Actually, so check natin na. Ah. Okay, so ang obvious dito na para ma-change natin yung variable or something na... Hmm, check ko lang ah. Okay, so ito yung function, no, na lalabas. So, grab ko lang, gawa lang tayo dito ng grab. So, ito yung grab na, ito yung grab na U plane, ito yung B plane. Okay, so ano ba nangyari niya pagdating niya sa U plane sa sa B plane? So, check lang natin, ha.
Okay, so paano natin marirepresent? So, kung napansin mo, no? So, in terms of yung x, in terms of u and b, in y, in terms of u and b. So, substitute natin to x and y dun sa plane. So, ito kasi totally yung nag-conserve sa kanya. Ito yung graph, ito yung region na kung saan kinurve sa kanya. Ito yung curve, no? Yung x plus y is equal to 1. So, kunin natin yan, i-change lang natin or ipalit lang natin. So, this is just 1 half u plus b plus 1 half ng b minus u is equal to 1. So, yun kasi yung equation na dito. So, sa r, ito equation x plus y is equal to 1. So, kinocover na yun ay yung region. So, ano naman yung region na dito? Ano yung tura? So, again, note, kung triangle sa dito, triangle din siya dito, dapat dito. Kung ako ay isosalist triangle dito, isosalist triangle din ako. Isosalist right, isosalist right din ako dapat dito. So, since ito lang yung kinukuha ko, ito lang yung equation, dun mo lang isasubstitute. Again, So, kung ano yung curve na nagsasubstitute? Kung nari, x squared dyan, substitute mo lang yung x. Kung nari, x squared plus y squared, substitute mo lang yung x and y dun para makuha mo ano yung tsurang curve niya dito. Okay? So, make sure na dapat na medyo pareho, nag-orient lang siya or meaning nagbago ng position. So, this, this is just equal sa 1 half u, then negative 1 half u, cancel. Tama? Then, 1 half b, 1 half b, this is just simply 1 half b plus 1 half b is equal to 1. Or simply, b is equal to 1. So, meaning may bago tayong equation b is equal to 1. So, paano natin i-grab si b is equal to 1? So, let's say ito yung 1. Okay. So, pag ginrap mo siya, something na straight line lang siya. Ganun. Okay. So, yun kamali na sir. So, this is just b is equal to 1. Now, since siya ay isosalist right triangle, which is ganito. So, lalagyan ko lang konti dito. Konti dito. So, assuming na isosalist right triangle yan. So, we're in. Ano magiging value? This is just u is equal to negative b para dito sa graph na ito. And this is just u is equal to b. So, yun yung nagko-cover sa kanya. Ito yung x, b is equal to 1, tapos u is equal to negative b, and u, u is equal to b. So, from here, malalaman natin kung ano. So, sir, paano man nalaman? Again, ito na yung equation, ito na yung b is equal to 1. Ito na yung x plus, yung x plus y is equal to 1, b is equal to 1 siya sa region r. Ito sa region r prime. Again, yung x plus y is equal to 1, in terms of u and kaya may b siya, ay b is equal to 1. So, meaning, ay siya yung guwit sa taas. Eh, since alam ko siya yung majority na hypotenuse, so, alam kong hypotenuse siya. So, from the origin, co-connect na lang ako doon, then co-connect. Then, obviously, pag kinuha ko yung graph na yan, or kinuha ko yung function na yan, so, alam ko na siya ay uh, identity function na kung saan u is equal to negative b, or y is equal to negative x, ay yung ibig sabihin dito. This is just equal naman sa y is equal to x, papunta doon. Or simply, u is equal to b. Ayun yung sinasabi niya sa ibig sabihin niya dyan. Okay, so, pansin mo, pareho silang, eh, so, so, this right triangle pa rin. So, walang pagbabago. Okay, so, now, proceed na tayo sa Hacobian niya. So, since meron tayong u and b, tama, so, meron tayong x of x, comma, y. So, ayun, meron tayong x, ito na yung x latin. Okay, meron tayong y. So, ayun yung mga isosolve latin. So, kunin natin yung Hacobian of u, comma, b. Okay, so this is just equal sa partial derivative with respect sa u ng 1 half ng u plus b. Okay, then this is partial derivative with respect ulit sa u ng 1 half ng times b minus u. Okay, so again, yan yung gagamitin. This is partial derivative with respect sa b ng 1 half ng u plus b. Then, partial derivative with respect sa b ng 1 half ng b minus u. Okay, so obvious na partial derivative with respect sa u. So, yung u lang yung, mga, yung b mawawala na yun. So, this is 1 half u. So, partial derivative ng 1 half u is just 1 half. So, this is just simply 1 half. This is just simply negative 1 half para dito sa ilalim kasi negative u doon. Okay, kasi 1 half times negative u is negative 1 half u. Partial derivative nun with respect sa u is negative 1 half. So, note, this is simply 1 half. Kasi b na dito. And also, this is also 1 half. Kasi with respect sa b. Okay, so pag kinuha natin yung kanyang uh, determinant, so this is just equal sa 1 half times 1 half, that is 1 fourth. Minus negative 1 half times 1 half. Or simply, that is 1 fourth. So, 1 fourth plus 1 fourth, this is simply 1 half. So, yung determinant natin is... 1 half. So, given na yung determinant. Okay. So, now, punta na tayo dito sa over the region. So, since magsi-change na tayo ng region. So, hoping na mapagkasya din ulit ni sir. So, again, this is just the triple in, the double integral over the region R of e raised x minus y over x plus y dA. 
Okay, so since papalit tayo sa over region R prime, so ito din yung value niya, no? kaya tayo nag-change of variable para mapadali yung integration. Okay, so although kaya naman talaga lahat siyang kunin using yung normal integration sa x and y, so represent mo na lang, kaya naman talaga yan to be honest. Pero syempre, may consider na region eh. Okay, so gamitin natin yung idea ng change of variable. In-apply ko lang din talaga yung theorem na nilagay ni sir. So this is just equivalent or equal sa. So double integral over, over the region R prime na. Okay, of F, of X, of U comma B comma Y. So this is E, E raised sa U over B. Okay, then this is just a cobian. So since nag-change variable na, this is a cobian which is 1 half. So this is absolute value ng 1 half. Okay, Hakobian of, so kasi sa formula, ano, f of x u kama b, y of u kama b, then determinant or absolute value na yung j, determinant ng u kama b, ano Hakobian, so this is less one half. Then, multiply by, uh, ano ba yung magiging da latin? So, mamaya na yung da, lagay mo natin da dito. Okay, so this is just equivalent sa integral, so kung napansin mo, no, ano ba yung nagiging value ng ating uh, dulo? So, kung napapansin mo, ang nagkaroon ng talaga totally ng value dito is yung b is equal to 1. Okay? So, meaning, this is just from 0 up to b. So, paangat. Okay? So, meaning, yung dulo natin is from db dapat. So, meaning, yung da natin is db. So, meaning, from 0 to 1 yung magiging upper boundary. Okay? So, this is just from 0 to 1 yung outer upper boundary sa lower boundary natin. Then, this is just integral, yung inner. Paano yung magiging inner? Since nilagay ko itong dalawa, okay, kasi ito yun yung region eh. Ito yung isang region, ito yung isang region. So, yung yun na yan. So, since u, yung una natin, this is just simply, yung sunod kasi natin yung boundaries over the u. Okay, so again, over db yung gapang, tapos ngayon, over du naman. So, sa du naman yung gapang natin. So, ang gapang ng du is from dito, negative b up to b. Ang gapang ng du is from negative b up to b. Kasi negative b dito, negative positive b dun. So, this is negative b up to b. Tapos, lagay ko lang yung e. Okay, this is e raised sa u over b tapos times 1 half. So, since du, db yung huli, this is just du, then db. Okay, so now, arrange na lang natin konti. No? So, I think pwede ko nang ilabas sa integral yung ating 1 half para medyo makabawas tayo ng magiging trabaho niya. So, this is just integral. This is just 1 half integral from 0 to 1. Then, bracket ko na to Integral from negative b up to b ng e raised sa u over b. Then, this is du. So, du una. Then, lastly is db. Okay, so ito yung medyo nakakalto sa change of variable talaga to be honest. Okay, so next is something na integrate natin siya with respect sa u, no? So, yung b is something magiging constant. Tama? So, bababa lang niya sa dyan. Yung b na yan, yung constant na yan. Something na constant. So, this is just one half integral from 0 to 1. Then, this is just uh, integral ng e raised sa u over b is something na constant kasi si b so that is, i1 over b lalabas siya magiging b, so this is just b e raised sa u over b ng boundary is negative b up to b okay, then this is just db okay, so sino papalitan dito ang papalitan natin dito is yung u so yung sa upper, okay, so this is just equivalent lang sa so I guess labas ko na lang yung ating B na yun, no? So, labas ko na lang yung B na yan. So, this is just 1 half integral from 0 to 1 ng B. Lalabas ko yan. So, may tarang, E raised to B. So, E raised to U over B. So, yung U papalitan. So, yung una is E raised sa B over B. So, pasensya na sa sulat. Minus E raised sa negative B over B. Okay. So, this is just DB. Okay. So, hoping na nag-gets my idea na ginawa sir. Yung U lang kasi yung pinapalitan Okay, so nakakalito kasi sulat na sir talaga. So, pasensya na about doon. Minabanggit ko naman yung term. Then, lastly, something this is, this is e raised to 1. So, alam ko na this is just simply, so, 1 half integral from 0 to 1 ng b tapos e raised to 1 minus e raised sa negative 1 db. Okay, so pag integrate, so syempre alam natin na e raised to 1 and e raised to negative 1, that is simply constant lang. So lalabas siya talaga literal dito sa ating integration. So, 
constant na lang yung i-raise to negative 1 ah. So tuloy ko na lang dito. This is just equal sa 1 half, labas ko yung e, minus e raised to negative 1, tapos integral from 0 to 1 ng b na lang yun. Tira. I think b na lang. B na lang. Ayan, b na lang. B, d, b. This is just b, d, b. Okay, so this is just equal sa 1 half, then e minus e raised to negative 1, times, this is just b squared over 2, then boundary is from 0 to 1. Okay, so this is simply 1 half ng e minus e raised to negative 1 ng, this is just 1 squared over 2 minus 0. So this is some, this is simply 1 half. So 1 half times 1 half, that is 1 fourth. So this is just 1 fourth ng e minus 1 over e. So arrange na lang natin konti. So this is just equal sa 1 fourth ng e squared minus 1 over e. Or simply, this is just equal sa e squared minus 1 over 4e. So, ito yung magiging sagot niya. Okay. So, yan yung ating magiging sagot. So, exacto na yan. Okay na sa akin actually talaga yung my e. Okay. So, kung gusto mo yung exacto, palitan mo lang na e. So, substitute mo lang siya sa calculate na yung magiging sagot. So, note, takitandaan yung mga ginagawa natin dito o yung mga nangyayari. So, since siya yung, nagbabag, yung nagpapatong o yung parang nagre nagbibigay ng region talaga, Kung ano yung equation na yun, yun ang papalitan natin yung u and b. O na x and y in terms of u and b. Tapos, siya yung magdedetermine ng ating pinakasasakop sa equation. Tapos, simply, i-orient mo lang siya same doon. So, since alam ko na isosceles right triangle siya, isosceles right triangle din dapat siya dito. Then, saka mo gawan ng close. Close mo lang yung figure kasi hindi natin kaya alamin to eh. So, again, this is just a close. So, natansya ko na alam ko siya ay negative identity function. Then, this is the identity function. Okay? So, that's all in this video. Again, yung extent ng 3 by 3 is something na similar dyan. Similar lang dyan. So, something na, syempre, yung drawing, eh, hindi kasi talaga, kaya hindi ako na example, kasi yung drawing, kinukonsider yung drawing, paano natin siya magagawa ng paraan about that. So, again, thank you for watching, hoping na may naintindihan at natutunan ka.